Brad Johnson here from Johnson.audio, and today I'm going to talk about the problem with audio engineering and recording your own music from home. Now, I ran into this problem yesterday when I was tracking acoustic guitars, and I'm trying to be the artist and the engineer at the same time. And let me tell you, it's very, very difficult. And this is a really good tip for all of you DIY home recording people out there that it might not be a bad idea for you to find a friend or find somebody else who can do the engineering while you try to do your actual takes because going between your right and your left brain is a very difficult thing to do. What happened to me is I'm trying to be in the right spot with my instrument in front of the microphone while you know getting the playback head in the right spot, hitting record, making sure it's going, and is to try to do all of that. And then if you make a mistake, having to stop, go, you know, delete that take, get your playback head back to the same spot, and over and over you go. And I remember being in a studio and my engineering mentor told me that the job for an audio engineer is to make sure that you facilitate a distraction-free recording experience for your artist. You want them to always stay in that zone. You want them to be able to just be in that creative mindset and start tracking. If they make a mistake, you're there, you're ready. You're saying, all right, let's do another take. And you don't ever break the creative process. You make it so that they don't have to think at all about the engineering. They don't have to think about the fact that they're actually recording. All they have to think about is their performance. And it's very, very difficult in the home studio to be able to have that freedom and that flexibility to just stay in that space. To have to continually go back and forth is really hard and it can take you out of your creative mindset and it can actually halt your production. And it becomes an art form in itself and not a very good art form. I think that is really one of the um, big fallbacks to doing everything on your own and having your home studio and being maybe a remote artist is that you have to kind of put on both hats and it's it's not really the most effective way of of recording and I really do believe that having the two makes a huge difference because you might also nail a take but you, in your own brain you thought you could have done it better or maybe you had too much you know for me personally on the acoustic guitar maybe I heard too much buzzing in one of the strings or I heard too much fret noise and really it's just you get into your own head and sometimes you need that other set of ears to say no it was good let's move forward let's get this done and you get stuff done quicker you get get stuff done better in that moment of the inspiration and i really do believe this is the biggest problem between audio engineering and recording your music at home and i just wanted to kind of shoot that out at you guys if you have the ability to you know reach out to another engineer friend to start um, doing some tracking or even teaching a friend just the basics so they can come in and you kind of get that collaborative spirit going and make it a team effort instead of always doing stuff on your own. I think that'll help you out a lot in your own productions. I know for me, it's always very helpful to have somebody recording me and I can just kind of go forth or vice versa if I'm the person recording somebody else and facilitate, facilitating that creativity. So that's my encouragement to you. I believe that is probably the biggest downfall to the home studio and especially the DIY um, recording artists out there. Um, if you got anything out of this, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Please leave me a comment below and reach out and say hello. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. I respond to every single comment, so please do not hesitate. To all my other subscribers, I appreciate your continued support. I am Brad Johnson at johnson.audio, where I just want to help you create music people love. I will see you on the next video. Bye.